Welcome back, IP1. I hope you're doing great, you're staying safe, and you're staying home. Today, we are having a new lesson about media creation. This is lesson number 11. So we want to create some new content using our um, paint program, Paint 3D. So let's create some content together, such as these images, or you can, of course, be more free and design your own content. So we just need to, we, we want to practice and try to make um, use of different tools or even try to freehand drawing, uh, to do freehand drawings and use some of the brushes. So let's open paint and we can practice different styles. All right, once we have it open, maybe we can just select this. and paste it in here and let's make it bigger okay so now we have our background once we have our background we can start creating our uh, content. So first, if you want, you can try to add some 3D existing 3D texture um, or forms. Maybe you can add an animal that you want to use in this landscape. Maybe a mountain goat or maybe a koala bear. You can resize it. And Of course, you can add more shapes. You can freehand draw. Or let's go back to the 3D. You can add some other animals, maybe a horse. Can group it. You can change colors. Uh, 
Let's try to find if they have a door. If there's no door, we can draw it ourselves, but there is a door here, so we can try to use that. And if you want, you can draw the, the windows yourself or draw it freehand. All right, you can also go to 3D shapes and find the window. if they have it, there's one. We can go to 3D view so we can see what we are doing now easily. Let's try to fit this to our angle, for angle. And this one we can copy paste. We have one more thing. We try to adjust everything in the correct angle. We can add this maybe. But we have to choose the right color, of course. By clicking this and select the white. Close it.
we can add some goats. Make it a farmhouse. So you, you basically can do anything. You can just, uh, my point is I want you to open your mind and uh, explore more of the options. You can draw whatever you like as you like it. Okay, let's check out the other one also. Maybe we can create here. Try to add some things to this image. First, adjust it to our screen. We can start adding some trees, maybe since there are already some trees there and we can go to our 3D and trees and add it inside. Let's take a look where to put the uh, other colors that you can choose from. Also, we can change the color of the tree itself as we want. So there are many options and many opportunities that you can do. This is another. But you can edit the size. If you, uh, what you have to realize, if you wanted to put, put it closer, so obviously it has to be a bit bigger. You can see in the existing trees also, the closer trees are bigger than the ones that are quite far away. That's about the perception, how you can perceive, how you can see. can add some trees here. You can draw whatever you like. If there's something specific you want to draw, maybe there's some water there. You can change the color to deep blue. Maybe this is not perfect blue. What else you can do? You can try to think of it. What can you do? Maybe you can try to go to our bucket, see if we can color anything. So you can even color the image if some area you need to color.
you can draw a line. So I, I believe and I hope that by now you know the most of the options so you can add and edit some photos by yourself. Um, so the, the one of the most useful ones is the 3D that you can add 3D images, existing 3D images, or you can also, as before we have done, create your own 3D shapes using these uh, uh, doodles, basically, or mix it with shapes or humans. Maybe it's a giant, who knows? Yeah, some images can be more creative. This is a uh, quite creative image with the face, with the sky, with trees on the face, with the river coming out of the eye. So you can, who knows? Maybe there's a giant on this um, face, right? So try to be creative and create some new image, okay? There's no right or wrong. I need you to remember in design, there is nothing right or wrong unless you're told what to do and you have to follow that. But if I say create your own image and be creative, you can do anything using this um, platform, using this tool, this tools, uh, these tools and um there there might be good and better and worse but there's no right or wrong okay so whenever i tell you to create something just be creative and create what you can what you like um just think what can i draw here maybe i can draw a big lake all right so you can decide resize it, make it bigger, make it smaller, turn it, all right? Or what else, or what else on the face I can do? Um, so I really do wish you can think about it and you can create something very interesting. Okay, so for example, here you can follow it, who knows? and see what happens. And you can also go back to the brushes and try to erase some parts that you don't want, maybe. Okay, so try to create your own image. It doesn't need to be perfect or amazing. It mainly needs to be um, as, as do your best to create some new content, all right? So now that we have gone through this, so um, there is no homework, but I do want when we go through, when we keep revising and reviewing and practicing these tools online, uh, I want you to do the same by yourself, try to create your own images. Um, you don't have to use my images. You can search on Google and find a new background or create your own background, you know. Maybe you can have uh, create new, don't say. You can draw something if you want, you know. And maybe you can use the brush, change it to be blue and make thickness more. And Maybe this can be your drawing, a way of you drawing something. So maybe this can be your river or ocean. And then you can have mountains. So try to draw your mountain. I'm doing it very fast because we're running out of time. But you can try to do better, more beautiful. 
more colors, more options. And of course, if you have an, a tablet or a pen uh, for the computer, maybe it will even look better. If I change to brown, maybe I can brown and some green. That's yellow. And it's uh, brownish. Okay, yeah. Maybe brown for the land. Also, maybe some dark brown. Somehow an abstract, right? Doesn't need to be perfect. And you can make the thickness lower. Have some snow maybe on the top. Maybe use a darker brown for some areas. Okay, okay so uh, I think you get what I mean. And maybe a sun. So, And maybe a smiley. Don't forget you have your stickers that you can use the smiling sun and put the eyes. Right? And maybe who knows? Maybe you can add the boats in your drawing. Let's find the boat. Right, so you can see even from scratch, you can create your own content. Now I did it very fast, but I'm sure you can do much better than I do. So I try to practice creating the uh, content with using different tools. Now I use brush, I use sticker, I use the 3D tool. So try to use all the tools so you can keep practicing on this. All right, that's all for today, guys. And I hope you have learned something today and i hope you stay safe and you stay home and have a lovely weekend see you next class bye bye